Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about one new feature and one change that Microsoft has brought and added to Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version of the desktop browser. Now, both of these are posted on back in July of this year. And the first is now regarding third-party plugins, which Microsoft said would be coming to Edge's sidebar. And just to let you know now, that um, the first plugins now have landed and are available for Bing Chat in the side panel now in Edge Canary 117. Now, a lot of these new features, as many of you would know, if you do view this channel, uh, do roll out to the Canary browsers to different regions at different times. And I haven't actually received any of these two uh, changes and features that we're talking about in this video today. But nonetheless, you'll have the general idea by the end of the video. Now, the first is if we head to our customized site panel and we open that, the plugins will be found in about this location uh, on the customized site panel page. And if we just head over to a GIF and a screenshot provided by Leo over on X, and this will give us a general idea. So yeah, you can see we have on the customized panel, we have chat plugins. I don't know if you can see that correctly in the video. And these are the first plugins are now available for Bing Chat in Edge Canary 117. So obviously now Microsoft in the first stages now of bringing those third party and plugin support to the Edge web browser for desktop. So that's first plugins now available for Bing Chat. Now the second is actually not a new feature, but uh, it's a name change to a feature that's actually undergone three name changes since it first rolled out and I've posted on all of these. The first was Edge for Gamers. Then the second was Gaming Loadout, which I did post on in July as mentioned and I'll leave that video down below because it will just give you a whole lot more information regarding the feature. And now Gaming Loadout for the third time now has been called and has received a name change to Gamer Mode. So if we just head over to another screenshot provided, here we can see Gamer Mode and what this does at the end of the day um, it says in the description, level up your experience in and out of game with superior performance, a gaming homepage and themes, sidebar apps like Discord and Twitch dark mode and more. So go check that other video out. It will give you more info. But it seems now that Microsoft has been battling to actually decide on what to call this. But I actually think gamer mode seems a little bit more practical. And I think this may stick this time after three name changes. And just to put this all into perspective and context where this will appear uh, in the settings when it does roll out and if it does roll out to the stable version if we head over to the settings page and navigate to appearance and we scroll down to where we get uh, the customized browser yeah just under use double click to close browser tabs this is where the new gamer mode will be located which will give you the option to turn that on and off to optimize your browser for gaming so those are just two changes as mentioned small but for some maybe significant that Microsoft is testing in Edge 117, which could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version in the future. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.